Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you, through comparisons, which is the best browser for each of these categories. Privacy, performance, functionality, and customization. We're going to analyze the following browsers. Firefox, Google Chrome, Edge, Brave, and Vivaldi. So, let's start with the best known, Chrome. Chrome's privacy is definitely not one of the best. A lot of information is collected not only by websites, but also by Google itself. It does not have a built-in tracker blocking feature. It sends a significant amount of telemetry data back to Google, and incognito mode only prevents saving your browsing history locally. It doesn't block trackers or ads, so its usefulness is very limited. In terms of privacy, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 1. In terms of performance, Chrome has very fast web page loading times compared to other browsers, which is a positive aspect. However, the downside is that its RAM usage is notoriously high. Chrome is among the worst in this regard. Its CPU usage is a little more moderate, but still not great. When you open many tabs, browsing feels smooth and responsive, but if you are on a PC with limited RAM, you risk saturating it quickly and losing that advantage. For this reason, I would give it a 3 out of 10. In terms of features, Google does not offer much that is unique inside the browser itself, except for the integration with its ecosystem, like Gmail, Drive, and YouTube, and, of course, compatibility with the largest extension store available. Because of this, I would give it a 5 out of 5. Finally, customization is very limited. You can change the theme, colors, and background, but that's about it. Nothing compared to more flexible browsers. For this, I would give it a 1 out of 5. All in all, I would not recommend this browser under any circumstances if privacy or resource usage matter to you. Based on my scoring, Chrome reaches an overall rating of 10 out of 30. The next one we'll analyze is Edge. Edge's privacy is definitely better than Google's, as it has a light ad and tracker blocker built in, and it blocks tracking by default, although in a fairly basic and somewhat outdated way. However, since it's backed by Microsoft, there is still a significant amount of telemetry being sent to the company. In private mode is slightly better than Chrome's, as it offers a strict mode that blocks most trackers, but it needs to be manually enabled in the settings. Overall, in terms of privacy, I would give it a 4 out of 10. When it comes to performance, Edge stands out not so much for raw speed, which is only slightly faster than Chrome but for its efficiency. Because it is deeply integrated into Windows, it manages system resources better than most Chromium-based browsers. That said, there are still browsers that consume fewer resources, even if they can feel a little slower. For balance between speed and efficiency, I would give Edge a solid 7, 5 out of 10. In terms of features, Edge has some interesting integrations. Copilot, Microsoft's AI Assistant, a great built-in PDF reader, and several browsing modes. However, not all of them are useful. For example, the news feed and notifications on the home screen feel cluttered and distracting rather than helpful. On the positive side, extension compatibility is excellent, since it supports the full Chrome Web Store. For features, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Customization is again limited, similar to Chrome, but with a small edge, Edge allows you to set animated backgrounds and tweak the new tab layout. Because of this, I would give it a slightly higher score than Chrome, a 3 out of 5. All in all, I would recommend Edge to those who want an experience very similar to Chrome's but with slightly better efficiency and a few more features. The downside is that it can feel overloaded and confusing with all the extra integrations. Its overall rating comes to 17, 5 out of 30. Next up is Firefox. Firefox's privacy is one of the best, partly because it was one of the first browsers to prioritize user privacy. It does not have a built-in ad blocker, but it uses enhanced tracking protection, which effectively blocks most trackers. The telemetry collected by Firefox is minimal, and can be further reduced in settings. Its private browsing mode is excellent. It does not save cookies or history and includes advanced protections against tracking and fingerprinting. In terms of privacy, I would give it a 9 out of 10. In terms of performance, Firefox is not the fastest browser. Page loading times can be slightly slower than competitors, and it ranks average in resource usage, with moderately high RAM and CPU consumption. 
For this, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. When it comes to features, Firefox keeps things simple. It does not support all Chrome extensions, but it does cover most common ones. It avoids unnecessary extras, which some users will appreciate for a cleaner experience. For features, I would give it a 2 out of 5. Finally, customization is one of Firefox's strongest points. It supports a wide variety of themes, including animated ones, allows custom CSS, and lets users configure gestures and shortcuts, options that many other browsers do not provide. For customization, I would give it an 5 out of 5. Overall, I would recommend Firefox to anyone looking for a balanced experience between privacy, security, performance, and customization. You may sacrifice a bit of speed, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. Its total score comes to 23.5 out of 30. Now let's analyze Brave. Brave is very strong when it comes to privacy. It uses advanced tracker blocking, including protection against fingerprinting, and it blocks ads by default, which Firefox does not do. In fact, Brave's ad blocker is one of the most effective out there. Many would argue it's even better than uBlock Origin. Telemetry is minimal, much lower than Firefox, and the browser also includes a Tor mode for enhanced anonymity. In terms of privacy, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10, slightly below Firefox only because some users might prefer Firefox's open-source tracker blocking approach. Performance-wise, Brave benefits from its built-in ad and tracker blocking. Pages load quickly, and the browser is efficient with both RAM and CPU usage. Even with many tabs open, browsing remains smooth and fluid, outperforming most other Chromium-based browsers. Here, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Regarding features, Brave supports all Chrome extensions, has a basic built-in VPN, mostly on mobile, and includes some crypto-related features that most users may find unnecessary. For features, I would give it a 2 out of 5. Finally, customization is fairly standard, you can change colors and backgrounds, but there are no advanced options like in Vivaldi or Firefox. For customization, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Overall, I highly recommend Brave. It is my personal main browser and offers an excellent balance of privacy, performance, and usability. Its total score comes to 24.5 out of 30. Finally, let's analyze Vivaldi. Privacy on Vivaldi is very good thanks to its built-in ad and tracker blocker. Telemetry is minimal, similar to Firefox, and can be disabled entirely. Private mode works well, and a unique feature is that your browsing history is encrypted, so only you can access it. Vivaldi also offers advanced cookie management. For privacy, I would give it an 8 out of 10. In terms of performance, Vivaldi does not excel in raw speed, page loading is average. Resource usage is higher than most browsers because it includes many advanced features and customization options. For performance, I would give it a 5 out of 10. When it comes to features, Vivaldi goes all out. It supports tab tiling, split-screen multitasking, and allows pages to be arranged like separate windows within the browser. It also includes its own integrated ecosystem with email, calendar, and notes, and supports all Chrome extensions. For features, I would give it a 5 out of 5. Finally, customization is where Vivaldi truly shines. You can change backgrounds, schedule color themes for day and night, edit the interface extensively, set up advanced mouse gestures, and create highly personalized shortcuts. It is one of the most customizable browsers available, earning a 5 out of 5 for customization. Overall, I would recommend Vivaldi to anyone who wants a highly personalized and productivity-oriented browsing experience, thanks to its multitasking and customization options. Its total score comes to 23 out of 30. The highest rating goes to Brave, which I personally recommend and use myself. I'll put the rest of the ratings on screen. For today's video is all. Remember to subscribe, leave a like, and a comment to let me know what you think. See you in the next video.